Hello and welcome to How to Play Bid Euchre, or as I like to call it, Real Euchre. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. Bid Euchre is a game for four players. It is a team-based trick-taking game that only uses the nine up through the ace. Dealer begins the game by shuffling the deck and dealing out six cards to each player. Normally you keep the cards secret, but for the purposes of this video, we will play with the cards face up. Once you are given all of your cards, you're going to want to organize them by suit, so that your hand looks something like this. Before we begin playing, you need to understand how card ranking works, and how it can change based on which suit becomes the trump suit. Normally, nines are the lowest and aces are the highest, but when a suit becomes trump, the order of the cards change. In this example, the diamonds become trump. That means the jack of hearts now becomes the second highest card, or the left bower. The jack of diamonds becomes the highest card, or the right bower. It's important to remember that for the rest of this hand, the jack of hearts actually counts as a diamond. The hand begins with each player bidding. When a player bids, they are saying how many tricks they think they can take. The player to the left of the dealer bids first. There are a few rules you need to know when it comes to bidding. The first is that a minimum bid is three. You have to be able to take at least three tricks in order to bid. The maximum bid is six, but there are a couple special ways that you can do that. If you think you can take all six tricks, there are two ways to go about it that can earn you more points. The first way is to ask. You signal that you're asking by placing your weakest card face down. If no one else bids higher, your partner gives you the best card that they can and they sit this hand out. You are playing alone. The other way to do it is called shooting the moon. When you shoot the moon, you think you can take all six tricks all by yourself. When you call that you are shooting the moon, your partner sits out and you play alone. Beginning with the player left of the dealer, this player bids four. They think they can take four tricks. The next player must decide if they can take more than four. They have to bid five or more. They choose to pass. The next player also passes, and the dealer passes as well. The player to the left of the dealer wins the bid. They must take at least four tricks. They determine that diamonds are trump, and they get to lead. Let's go ahead and play through one hand of Euchre. This player will lead the Jack of Diamonds. Now all players at the table must play a diamond if they can. If they cannot, they're allowed to play any other card from their hand. The Jack of Diamonds takes the trick. That player gets to lead again. This player now leads with the Jack of Hearts. Remember, this is the left bower and it counts as a diamond. So every player must still play a diamond card if they can. The Jack of Hearts takes the trick. This player now leads with the 10 of Hearts, so all players at the table must play a heart if they can. The King of Hearts takes the trick. Now that player gets to lead. Here, the 10 of diamonds takes the trick. Even though aces are typically higher, the trump card always wins. Now that we've played a hand of Euchre, let's go ahead and learn how to keep score. In Euchre, each trick is worth one point. Remember, you have to get at least as many tricks as you bid. So in this game, the player to the left of the dealer bid four. They had to get at least four tricks and they actually got five. So in this example, that team earned five points. The opposing team earned one point for the trick that they were able to take. If a player bids and fails to get that many tricks, they go backwards that many points. So taking a look at this example, if the team failed to get all four tricks, they would lose four points from their score. If this is the first hand of a game, their score would become negative four. The opposing team still earns one point for each trick they take. Remember, there are two ways to earn extra points in this game. The first is to ask, and the second 
is to shoot the moon. If a player asks and gets all six tricks, they earn 12 points. If a player completely goes alone and shoots the moon, they earn 24 points for the team. But remember, if they fail to get six tricks, they go backwards that many points. So if you choose to shoot the moon on the first turn, it's actually possible to start the game with a score of negative 24. The first team to reach 32 points wins the game. In the rare event of a tie, play one more hand to break it. Hey, I just wanna invite you over to the Clubhouse on Patreon. Clubhouse members get exclusive access to Ripple Shuffle and Roll content. And once we hit our first goal of 100 members, we will be hosting tournaments. Also, the first 100 people to join are eligible for some pretty sweet prizes. So get on over there and check it out.